Okay, so we both know that this apple is red, but is what I see is red the same color that you see is blue? This is gonna get complicated, hold on a second. Anthony here for D News, and Mr. Nick VDB asked, could you do an episode on how we can tell that the colors I see are the same ones that you see? Now this is something that I think everyone wonders at some point. We both know that the patches on the wall behind me are blue and orange, but does blue to you look the same way that red does to me? Now obviously there are issues here, physical issues like color blindness that would keep someone from perceiving colors exactly like other people, but let's put those aside and say that we're dealing with a standard human eye. Now we see colors because of rods and cones in our eyes, and we've got three types of cone cells for seeing red, green, and blue. A lot of other mammals only have two kinds for seeing blue and yellow. Birds have four and can see all three of those colors and ultraviolet light, which is one of the reasons that birds are so creepy. Anyway, so you'd assume that since all the hardware of the human eye is the same, and it's all based on specific wavelengths and colors of light, that we would all see things the same way within a small margin of error. But here's the thing, the number of cones in people's eyes vary hugely and the kinds of cones aren't evenly distributed. So one person may have mostly red cones while someone else has more blue, which means that the brain is more instrumental in actually decoding color. It steps in, analyzes the information and helps us sort everything out and that introduces a lot of doubt. See, our brains are these pattern-making machines that pick up a lot of slack for us. They're constantly filling in missing information. They're making educated guesses to keep us running smoothly throughout the day. And here's something interesting about color. The more you learn about it, the more you can see variations in it. For instance, check out this ring of green squares shown to people by the American Psychological Association. One of those colors is different, ever so slightly. Can you tell? You might be able to, according to the study, if you're an artist or a designer or you have some other career that requires a honed sense of color. It's this one, by the way. But wait, what about studies on the effects of color on our emotions? Trace talked about them in a video, how colors affect our mood and how food tastes, things like that. Orange makes us energized, blue makes us calm. So how does that happen the same to everyone if we see colors differently. Well, welcome to the biological part of seeing color. We're diurnal creatures, right? We're awake during the day, we're asleep at night, and that's because of light. It's bright out, we wake up, yes? Well, what if I told you we aren't reacting to brightness as much as we're reacting to the color of light? A study in the Journal of Animal Behavior found that diurnal animals sleep better in bright blue light than in dim yellow light. When do we see blue light? Late day, evening, yellow light comes in the morning and midday. Now think about what I said earlier how those other mammals only have those yellow and blue cone cells in their eyes. Well, isn't that convenient? Just the right equipment to tell when to be tired. Now that means we're all biologically wired to respond to the color spectrum in the same way. It doesn't matter if you and I perceive yellow the same, our bodies know that seeing it means it's time to be energized. Okay, so bottom line, do we see colors the same way or not? For a really long time, Science has sort of taken this behaviorism stance to it, which basically means, hey look, if we're all responding the same way to the same thing, it's not an issue if we all perceive it slightly differently, let's all just let it go. But chances are there is some variation. Based on everything I've read, my hunch is that the differences in color perception aren't too crazy. What do you guys think? Is my red your green? Vice versa? Let me know and subscribe for more D News. My paisley is your taupe. <laughs>